I had to make this video. It was always going to be made. The penis size of a male. I'm not going to elaborate on the size of my penis in this fucking film clip. I think that's wrong. Whether it's tiny, whether it's large, whether it's medium, it doesn't matter what it is. I'll let my ex-girlfriends be the judge of that. But I'm not going to. This is not about my penis. This is about the male penis. The us males. I, I read on the paper too often, so it's not. It's not just you know the obsession with human height that men naively uh, conceive or have possess. It's this absurdity, this most absurd obsession with the size of their dick. I don't know what guys are obsessed with the size of their dick when it doesn't matter. Hypothetical, I had a big dick. Just hypothetical. I'm not saying I'm not. A, I'm, that's why I had to say it at the start of this clip. I'm not going to say if I have a small one, big one. It, it's completely irrelevant. <laughs> oh. But hypothetical. Just, I'm just saying. Imagine I had a big one. Imagine. Uh, what I would say is. It would be the most useless fucking thing there is. As a matter of fact, it would probably be more convenient if it was smaller. Um, the male penis, to be effective in its job, in every job, peeing, baby making, I think that's about it. What else does the penis do? I think it does excrete blood when it needs to. Um, if you have kidney stones, they can't come out of there, which really hurts. Um, there are a few jobs your dick has that you might not be aware of, but the point is the main jobs, pissing and baby making, your dick only has to be drum roll or four inches long to be effective. Meaning if you had a three and a half inch, three inch penis and it was hard and it penetrated, there's still a good chance it could be effective. It starts to become less than effective when it's... You know, an inch, an inch and a half, two inches long. That's, I think that is technically classified micropenis. Six centimetres and under, when hard, not when flaccid. Uh, there are blokes out there with a six or seven centimetre flaccid penis, and the next thing it's like fucking 15 to 20 centimetres long. So where the fuck did that come from? That's, I just study all this sort of stuff. I have over the years. Anatomy, I'm obsessed with the anatomy. I am, I'm, I am very, very into the anatomy. My mother was a personal trainer. My mother had numerous qualifications in personal training. She trained with, or was mentored by Gary Champion, who was like some champion. He was a, no, he was a, he was a good, very, very good um, uh, in the gym scene back in the eighties. And um, I think, if I'm correct, you know, got guidance with him and other real, really uh, good blokes with head on their sh with a good head on their shoulders, passing on everything to her. Mum was an aerobic instructor when I was a kid, so I most of my early years from two to. Th two to five or two to four was spent in the Coolabar gym at Marylands uh, in the in the child centre I was naturally like always the naughty one who would venture out of there and start using the weight machines well, at least trying to I didn't don't think I used them properly I think I did lift up the bars though I think I impressed someone like, what the fuck this what is this five year old doing lifting this 10 or 20 kilo fucking weight and I'm <laughs> lifting it and smiling and watching mum do her class or whatever she was doing in her fucking superwoman fucking suit. Oh fuck, that was the best. The early nineties. Oh wow, the early, no, the early, early to mid nineties. Oh my god, my mum was a personal trainer. And mom, when mum was doing aerobics and sticking me in the fucking childcare, and you know we only lived around the corner at the flats where I would think of some junior professor lighting fires every fucking few seconds. Smash, oh fuck, my obsession with smashing glass. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me. <laughs> Thank God there was no glass in the gym. Um, wait, there was a broken mirror. Anyway, uh, uh, the point is, I, you know, I have a thing, I know a thing or two about anatomy. I've been do, you know, thinking about this sort of stuff my entire life. Been revolving around it my entire life. Um, so, I can tell you now, where whether it's that last film clip I just made on the human height, which I'll, I'll, I'll say something like, you know, if you're 150 centimetres, that starts to become short and you may have a slight disadvantage with seeing over the wheel and bits and pieces. But generally speaking, you know, being anywhere between 160-ish, 160 160 165 centimetres, 
and 170, 175 centimeters is not in any shape, way, or form a disadvantage. It, oh, that, I, I, I look at blokes who see themselves with that perspective just because they see other blokes who are taller, who act like that's something and they feel threatened. They, they start to absorb that, that, they start to internalize that, you know, what they see, that projection, as if, oh, fuck, that, because he feels he's tall and has an advantage, it must mean because I'm shorter than him, I'm disadvantaged. No, 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 life doesn't work that way. Nothing works that way. That's polarization. That's, you know, your head starting to, you know, revolve around in fruit loopy ways. Anywhere between 160 centimeters and 175 centimeters is a-okay. In Australia, the average male height is 176.6 centimeters. I actually think it's a little bit shorter. No, I think it's 175.7. It's somewhere between 175 and a half and 176 and a half. So if you're anywhere between 175 and a half, 176 and a half, a little bit less or a little bit more, you're, you're the average bloke. What the fuck are you complaining about, you stupid cunt? Look, if you want to get a little bit taller, get taller. If you want to spend your hard-earned money on stupid operations, go for it. But why? You know, my point was in the last video, your most functional asset, the, the, the proper way to measure your functionality is not height. It's not human height. It's reach. And I have a reach advantage. Oh, that's 188 centimeters. It's gigantic. And when I'm skinnier, 191, 192. That's like, wow. So I'm like, in terms of actual fun functionality, I I'm as tall as a man can be. And I, I do this often to taller blokes when they start to piss me off and talk about height. You know, <laughs> I'm two inches taller. All right, dickhead, get your hands out. Let's see whose reach is more. And my reach is always, almost always like that much bigger, some somewhere like that. I'm like, it looks like you're the fucking short ass. And they never quite get it. But I don't, point being, I don't care. I'm, I'm sharing this with you because even though I'm technically tall because of the reach part, doesn't matter. No. There's a fucking, there's a, no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. But more often than not, you'll find that even if you're a little bit shorter than the tall bloke, your reach is probably taller, uh, greater than that taller person. And that makes you actually functionally uh, more able so this is about penises though so I went, what I, why I'm highlighting all that from the last video so you can adopt those that principle mentality I highlight that compound word principle mentality so have that principle mentality of the last video and carry that to this penis video you know do you need an 8 inch fucking cock an 8 to 10 inch cock to be effective no, you need that to get in the porn star industry because people are stupid and think big cocks look good or something. Who gives a fuck? Oh my god. Hypothetical. Hypothetical. I had a fucking 22 and a half inch centimeter cock. Just a hypothetical. Who gives a fuck? What, what are you going to do with it? Oh, look at that. It's big. Woohoo. It pisses. It baby makes. There you go. It does the job. Does it fucking matter? <laughs> Some blokes make me laugh. Like... The way they carry on. If you've got a four inch dick, which is technically an inch smaller, an inch to an inch and a half smaller than the average bloke, you know, ana anatomically, you're effective. That's all you need. I mean, when you when you go to shoot rabbits, do you take a fucking 12 gauge shotgun and blast the fucking thing to smithereens? Do you, no, sorry, even better. When you go to hunt rabbits, do you fucking go and take a 50 caliber, do you go to the army headquarters and ask fucking... Yeah, head of the army or head of the fucking defense force, good old Angus. Hey, Angie! <laughs> Come here. I need to borrow a 50 cow. I want to take out some rabbits. Yeah, you shoot the fucking rabbit, the thing will disappear. It's an anti-material weapon. Do you know what an anti-material weapon is? <laughs> Anti-matter. So you shoot that rabbit and it's... It's kaboomed. It no longer exists. You, know, you, you might... You, you know... 80% of the time, I think, you know, those old slug guns with the pellets? That'll do. Pellet gun. You don't need a fucking 50 cal, do you? Why do you need to take a 50 cal into the bedroom? Yeah, your four inch dick will do the job. And mind you, I'm giving you the... Uh, uh, that makes people with a five and a half inch dick, who, who for some strange reason thinks that's small, even though that's average, uh, that will make them think, oh, hold on a second, my dick's an inch and a half bigger than it needs to be. That's not, the, not too bad. That's the point. 
You don't need you know, all these fucking magazines or advertisements glorifying being fucking six foot five, glorifying having a fucking magnificent cock and glorifying everything. You just want your fucking money. Just want to fuck you around. Grow up, people. Fuck. What? You, you, do you know what a fucking eight inch dick or ten inch dick does in sex? Nothing. It it uh, it goes fucking. It, it, if I'm correct, it may even fucking be a disadvantage for baby making. What the fuck's the point then? You only need to get X far, and it's done. It's it's there, and for satisfaction, it's actually the width that matters. If I'm correct, not the fucking not the not the length. So this obsession with males and the length of their penis, oh, it's fucking hilarious. It's a fucking hilarious thing. Absolutely fucking hilarious. Yeah. And ultimately, all this stuff trickles down onto the economy. Yeah. People, instead of spending your hard-earned money on a wise investment, and I would I would recommend in this climate, not homes. You've got to be a fucking idiot or an ass clown to do that. Maybe. Anyway, I was getting you a date from years ago, but beside the point. Invest your hard-earned cash in something like your business, your growing business, your children, their education, something meaningful, not your cock. Not fucking getting taller, not in fucking supplements to, you know, those $50 supplements you buy every now and again, or $100 supplements to get taller or to grow your cock instead of, you know, activating an education application for your child on their phone. That's, that's a bad boy. It's a very bad boy. And all these poor decisions across the board, across the population, add to a weakening economy, a weakening spirit, because it all goes back down to the family home or the, the, the person's mind. You, know, you don't need to worry about having a fucking magnificently long or large cock or being fucking six foot five. They're, all, they're, they're either useless or impractical, as you see in my last video in this.